A group of San Jose high school students are on their way to Europe. Well, they'll soon find out if they've won a million dollar prize. KPX 5 Sharon Chin is live at the beach in Pacifica tonight with our original report. Sharon? Yeah, the contest is about finding innovative ways of mapping the ocean floor. And if these students win, they will make history. We're going to get set up here. This team of Valley Christian High School students is one of three final groups and the only one underaged, competing for a million dollar prize sponsored by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I love being a part of it. It's part of the Shell Ocean Discovery X Prize, a three year global competition to find innovative ways to map out 90% of the ocean floor that's still unknown. I think they were really rooting for us as well. Because Software entrepreneur Danny Kim was a parent volunteer when someone urged him and several students to enter the contest. I'm like, this is crazy. This world junior high kids. Yet the math and engineering students jumped in. Their team, Ocean Quest, competed against groups of ocean engineers twice their age. The fact that we can show other people that we can do it is insane to me. The students took charge, consulted with experts they found, and developed an efficient, cost-effective way to map the bottom of the ocean. Students, because they haven't been boxed or capped in the way they're thinking, they were thinking outside the box. Their innovative AUV, or Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, is shaped like a torpedo. Using robotics, high-resolution imaging, and tracking, the AUV sounded good on paper. But then they had to build it. They borrowed or got donated parts from the company Riptide and Florida Atlantic University. A lot of the kids can't even drive. <laughs> They're operating equipment that have that could cost a million dollars. The Valley Christian students advanced to the finals in Puerto Rico for NOAA's million dollar prize. Their unmanned device had to follow a chemical signal to its source underwater. But the students only got the primary parts a week before the finals, and they couldn't even test them beforehand. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, I know you, you know you go in there, and it's just it's kind of like taking a test without studying for it. It's literally akin to trying to open our surgery in the middle of the ocean. The teenagers had to quickly program and retrofit the AUV. It was kind of Frankenstein together, but we we were able to we were able to make it work. Pieces were falling off, but we made sure that the internal components, like the wiring and stuff, that was pretty okay. Of the 32 teams that qualified for the NOAA prize, six made it to the finals and only three actually showed up. The Valley Christian team was the only one with a successful launch. Is there criteria number 12, do the impossible? We did come farther than any other team. I really think that's something amazing. Their motto, nothing is impossible. No matter what, just don't give up. Keep going. I feel pretty excited. It's nice to know that it works. And whether or not Ocean Quest wins a million dollars, they share their inspiring story. Young people who are only beginning to map out their careers can develop new tools to map the ocean floor. Now, the Ocean Quest team will be in Monaco for the award ceremony tomorrow morning. If they do end up winning the million dollar X Prize, that bonus prize, they will be the youngest to do so in X Prize history. Now, there was also a seven million dollar X Prize award. In that part of the competition, the Ocean Quest team got into the semifinals, but not into the finals. Liz, Veronica. Wow, where is Amazing. all this money coming from, Sharon? One million, seven million, a lot of money. It's all part of the yeah, it's all part of the X Prize, and what the school says is if they do win, they're going to put the money back into the school for their science program.